All right, here's number 21 from uh, lesson 4-4, page 221. As you can see, I've already factored the denominator for both of these fractions. And this is a common one that students still have difficulty with when you see x squared minus 8x factoring that. Just note the x and the x that they have in common can be pulled out like you're undistributing an x. All right, x squared minus 8x, bring out the common x that they share. Just like here, noticing the 2 and the 16 are both divisible by this 2. It's the same idea, but we're bringing out an x instead. So we're, we'll use the green highlighter to show you what the denominators already have in common. We'll use the yellow and the blue to show you the, the parts of the denominator that they do not share. So the one on the right needs the highlighted blue, x, x. The one on the right needs the highlighted yellow. It needs the 2. It needs the 2. So now we have 2 times x times x minus 8 on the left, and 2 times this x times x minus 8 on the right. All right, let's clean this up by doing 12x plus 4x, which is 16x. On the bottom, we have the common denominator, 2x times x minus 8. Now, if you notice that we have some things that can cancel, you are right. We have the factor x minus 8 times the factor x times the factor 2. In the numerator, we have 16, which can be written as 2 times 8 times x. Everything I'm circling is a factor. x minus 8, x, 2. Anything that matches can cancel. The 2 cancels. The 2 cancels. The x and the x cancel, leaving me with 8 on the numerator and x minus 8 in the denominator.